So, Maggie Q is an action star and a movie star in general, no matter the genre for that matter. And I think it is about time that she is more widely recognized as one. To offer a little more context here with why I feel that way, Nikita was one of the very first shows I ever covered heavily from week to week. I was very into it, thought it deserved more credit than it ever got, and of course, I thought Maggie Q was phenomenal in it. Now, if you're looking for a more recent example of just how good she is, look at the 2020 Fantasy Island movie. That film was a big ensemble piece and all the characters were experiencing different things, but her character's arc was hands down the best of the bunch. And I think that she brought it to screen with so much depth and heart that it really made it stand out. So basically, I am a very big fan of hers and now I am mighty excited to be reviewing a movie that she gets to headline. It's the protege. Q plays Anna at a very young age. She's taken in by an assassin named Moody, played by Samuel L. Jackson. When Moody is murdered, Anna becomes determined to avenge him and sets out to track down the person responsible for ordering the hit. I feel like that very, very brief synopsis might make the protege sound like any old assassin film, but between the intensity and determination of Q's performance, the chemistry that she shares with Jackson, the downright stellar combat set pieces, and also the mystery unfolding here, I would say that this thing most certainly has that special spark to make it stand out from other films in the genre. Now, before getting into the specifics of what I love about the protege, let's get the, uh, the nitpicks out of the way here. So there are some elements of that mystery I just mentioned that I think do suffer from a lack of clarity, but I would say that's also something that rarely hurts the overall experience because of the conviction that Q brings to the character. Then there's also one other fairly major plot point that does come up earlier on in the movie. I'm obviously not gonna get into specifics here on this, but it is a pretty important beat for pushing Anna on this mission. But the way that she assesses this particular thing feels a little out of character to me. For someone with such an eye for detail, someone who is highly trained, and someone who has this particular set of skills, it's just a little suspect that she would have overlooked this thing. But other than that, I loved the protege. I really could go just on and on about how good Maggie Q is in this role. Anna can be a woman of few words at times, and Q ensures that every single one of those words is said with such purpose and that you feel it. But then there are situations that call for something else, uh, you know, a, a verbal sparring or a dance of sorts, and she delivers so big in those portions of the movie as well, especially with the smooth talking conversations that take place between Anna and a rival killer played by Michael Keaton, I could not get enough of their chemistry together in this movie. The attraction brewing between them is super charming. And also to be frank, it is very steamy as well, but it also feels really dangerous. And on top of that, it is so well woven into this overall mystery that it makes the mystery itself so much more engaging. And then of course, those action scenes. I'm not really the biggest fan of this kind of phrasing, but I do think it will help put things into perspective a bit. So you know how we're often hearing things like, oh, this movie wants to be the next John Wick. If not, this movie is the next John Wick. Well. I couldn't help but to think of that here because this movie lives up to that kind of hype to me. One, because Q carries herself in the role so well, but also because the set pieces here are just stunning, they're vicious, and they feel so dangerous, which I think is so important with a grounded action movie like this. 
I don't care if you're the headlining character in a film like this. You need to feel like that individual's life is at risk when they find themselves in situations like this. And that is very much the case here. And I think with Anna, you can really feel it via the combat choreography but also through the vulnerability that Q herself brings to the role. And on top of that, the combat sequences are also just so well defined here. And I think that that contributes big time to making pretty much all of them super memorable. I could really sit here and easily recall a whole bunch of favorites in an instant. I mean, without any spoilers here, there's a prison cell fight that is excellent. There's a dance-like fight that happens between Q and Keaton that I just loved. Um, there's another one where Anna is trying to escape from a build. I just, I could really go on and on and maybe even list them all, coming close to the point of really walking you through the entire film. That's how memorable all of them are. All right, let's score this thing. I got to give the protege four Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. This is a top-notch, character-driven action film. It is a visual feast for anyone who is super into this kind of combat, but all of that stellar stunt work is resting on a strong foundation of character development, something that I think is present, courtesy of Richard Blank's script, but also something that winds up being bolstered big time because of this ensemble, especially when it comes to Maggie Q, Samuel L. Jackson, and Michael Keaton. Everything about the movie, the, the connection to the characters, the curiosities about their connections to each other, the intense combat, and also the fact that this movie just flies. I mean, Martin Campbell brings all of those assets together to deliver a stylized but grounded and all-consuming action film that is truly an edge-of-your-seat thrill. So there you guys go. My thoughts on The Protégé, clearly I loved it. I would like you to see it. If you do check it out, hit the comment section below. Tell me what you think about it. Before I leave you, Patreon shout-out time, because this review right here is brought to you by the one and only Billy. Billy is awesome. You guys know that. I say Billy's name all the time because he's super cool. He's a longtime supporter, and I love having him here. Billy, thank you for being here, and thank you for being you. To everybody else out there, thanks for watching this video. Please like and share it before you leave, and stay tuned. Got more reviews coming your way very, very soon.